says, if I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Whew, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. What? Oh, please. Three times I saved your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound. Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. <sighs> hey, let me see that. Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on, roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Let me see. Yeah. <sighs> it's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. <sighs> Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. Hey folks, this is Vagrant, and welcome to our next new playthrough. Today we're going to start picking up right where we left off with Remnant 1, and instead we're going to play Remnant 2. Much newer, just came out uh, very, very recently for me at least, playing this in December, but um, yeah, already visually very different. Really good looking game, looks fantastic. Big Last of Us kind of vibes, we're in this post-apocalyptic scenario, still the route is taking over the planet, and we are playing character of some name. I've already made her. She's got a lovely ponytail that clips through my hood constantly and that's now annoying. <laughs> Did you ever hear about the North Pole? Is that old fairy tale? Yeah, like this ward. Old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple of old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer out here. <laughs> you think people actually live like this? Huh. <sighs> I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but i never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta think we must be... at least a generation removed from normal life. If they're looking at that sign thinking that people actually live like this, that means they've never experienced it in their lifetime. And we're probably, you know, 20, 30, something like that. So at least a couple of decades. And, you know, given the overgrowth and stuff as well, you'd imagine it's been a while since the root took hold and Earth went to shit, basically. Anyways, really excited for this playthrough. Um, I really enjoyed the first game, but felt like it had room for improvement. And it's just cool that I can play the first game, which I finished recording today, and go straight into a new game. You know, it's quite fun to, to do that and can draw comparisons, etc., etc. All right, good. Locked. Great. Ugh, we can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. I suspect <laughs> we're going up here. Now, the important thing: do we have our lovely jubbly special vault animation? I don't have a melee weapon. However, I've got a punch. Press A while moving near a ledge to jump. That's new as well. You can jump in the last game. What? Nah. I've got hiccups. Nice. Just, <laughs> just punch the st Oh, God. This is how we train, okay? This is how we get stronger. Ugh. Actually, give me chills. Is I not meant to come? I don't think I was meant to come down here. Oh, that way. Whoopsie daisy. Okie dokie. I got you, girl. Don't worry about it. Honey, I'm home. What did you? I was punching a wall. <laughs> what more do you want from me? It looks good, doesn't it? It's, it's pretty. <laughs> it's very important to me. 
Nice textures. Oh, hello. What happened to these poor bastards? Blood root. Can't let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. <laughs> <Don't help me laughs> <none. laughs> Press LB and X to use the item in Oh okay, we've got uh so it's not on the it used to be on the D pad, now it's a uh, quick hey, slot. Let's get some distance between us. It is filling the same niches that uh, the blood jars we had in the last game. Over here. I'm trying, girl. I'm trying. Believe me, I'm trying. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Nice, hot heal over time. Ah, oh, this is cool. Very different vibe already. Got my sprint. Do I just need something to vault over? <laughs> I just need to see. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a climb. Oh, this is bad. I mean, that's not bad, but I need, I need, I need my proper vault. Oh, hello. Side of what? Nothing. Something my mom used to say. It's pulsing. So the root. For those who didn't see the first playthrough, the root, which I don't think we really know much about, but it's uh, taking over the world. Making mad monsters. People are dying. The world has gone underground. Dead one! Shoot the damn thing! Nice shooting. Hey, that don't count, by the way. Look at this stuff. All over the bloody place. I always think that making levels like this, you know, so you know, someone's got to model the barrels, the car, the fences, and then putting it together must be so much fun. You know, put the door on the side, put the car there, just tell little stories based on your prop placement, you know? I always think that would be the most fun aspect of level design for me personally. Okay, is this, does this look like something we want to do? <laughs> I'm not so sure, but I seem to be doing it anyway. This looks awesome. Oh, I love a hazy red light in the darkness. One of my it sounds very specific to be one of my favorite things, but it's one of my favorite things. A hazy red light in the dark like that. Ooh. Reminds me of like a flare in a horror game or in a dinosaur film or something. Uh, I'm uh, starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <coughs> Come on, kid, you'll be all right. We'll get you out of here. Oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe not out of here, maybe sort of out of the fire and then into the frying pan? We're going the other way around. Wait, no, that is a sink. No, wait, wait. It's out of the frying pan into the fire, but the fire is worse than the frying pan. So maybe if something gets a little bit better, you could say it's out of the fire and into the frying pan. Guess the deadwood ain't all gone after all. Nope. Ain't no way the war's real. I wouldn't mess like this out here. Nope. Maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. I suspect that isn't happening. <laughs> if I had to wager a guess. Uh, uh, it's not happening. Tell me if it's not happening. Oops, it is it. Oops, it is it. Do you bloody mind? Stop that. I will punch you all to death, you hear me? No! Listen. For what it's worth, 
You were a good friend. You were a good friend. Here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo. Thanks. Who? Who are you? Questions later. We gotta get moving. On three. One. Two. Three! Still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. Well, that was an advancement in power type, wasn't it? <laughs> Literally stopped time. Interesting. Is that something we're going to have the capability of? There was really nothing like that in the first game. I mean, you had powers, but hmm, not like that. Apologies if they are a little. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a little, little change on it. I did already, look Look what I've done with the audio, and they're still bloody quiet. I'm just going to knock this down to 60. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the music back on 70. Let's try that. I, I had this one in the first game. I had this problem with basically every video game I've ever played. <laughs> Sound balance is a nightmare. However, this is beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. The first game looked okay, but it looks quite outdated sometimes. This is stunning stuff. It really is beautiful lighting. It runs so smoothly as well. I am running NVIDIA DLSS. I should mention I'm playing this on PC um, via Xbox Game Pass. Well, I guess Windows Game... I think it's still called Xbox Game Pass, but Ultimate, so PC version. And I'm using an Xbox controller. It really does look... It looks incredible. <laughs> it really looks good. Can't pause, can I? No. Oh, hello. Interesting as well. The root are already attacking in new ways, you know, crawling on the ceiling, crawling out of walls and stuff like that. I'm gonna keep getting distracted by how pretty it all is. <laughs> I'm really blown away. I really hope it's coming across on YouTube because it looks amazing on my screen. YouTube's encoding is a nightmare. Kind of butchers everything, but still. It makes me want like an even bigger monitor. My monitor is already pretty huge, but you can always go bigger, folks. You can always go bigger. Out of the way, kid. Now 
Now I'm curious, so the first game had a system, for those who didn't see my first playthrough, the first game had a system called traits, and traits were basically your skills. So as you leveled up, you put points into your traits. I just saw it on the pause screen a second ago. These things here. Oh, what have we got? We've got Vigor, so we've got Stamina, Health, Mod Power Generation, and Skill Cooldown. Oh, they're separate. That's interesting. Last game, mods were skills, basically. These weren't a separate thing, so that's, that's different. Vigor, it looks like they max out at 10 now, rather than at 20. And it looks like there's still tons of them. <laughs> uh, still got five disability things over here, but that's actually less than last game, I think. Which probably makes sense. I, I felt there was too many of them last game, so that would actually make sense. God, it's pretty. <laughs> no, but traits are basically your skills, and you level up, and you put a, a skill, a point into traits. And you would kind of unlock new ones by doing certain things. So if you reloaded all the time, you would unlock like a reload faster skill, or if you melee all the time, you would unlock a melee damage skill, etc, etc. And you'll have noticed I'm reloading all the time. Now, it's not on purpose, it's how I play games, but I'm just kind of curious whether we're going to find traits in the same way as last time. Guess we'll find out. <clears throat> Dead would know they've lost, but they won't be done without a fight. Oh! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, no, nope, wrong gun. That's some bad shooting right there. Not melee. Okay, punch it! <laughs> I might stamina, I might stamina. The Root Mantis. Bloody hell. Tell you what, this thing is... Quicker than nearly every enemy I faced in the last game already. Whew. Got traits and we got a ganglia. Hey, you okay? Not bad shooting, traveler. Thanks. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry, the wards as safe a place as any. Safer. So. It's really real. Food and water and folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. Uh, I'm fine, I... Uh, yes. Ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... Uh, we need to get her to the ward. Uh, quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We better get moving. Before we lose the light. Beloved ammo box. I didn't use for the final boss in the last game. <laughs> and, and then it was a massive mistake to do so. Womp womp.
Oh dear. This is Riggler. Call me Riggs. I got you, darling. Don't worry, friend. We'll take good care of her. Welcome to Ward 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh. He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? Your name's Bo Ward. It's like me calling myself Connor Bungalow. <laughs> so interesting, Clementine, the name of the woman who just walked away. So first of all, right, Ward 13, above ground. I thought all the boards were maybe underground, but it appears that maybe, as you said, the roots receding, so able to build above ground and develop like little shanty town village kind of things. Um, I believe Clementine was the daughter or maybe the granddaughter of, I call him Cooper. <laughs> His name's not Cooper, Ford from the last game, the guy who founded the ward who'd be rescued from prison <clears throat> towards the end of the game. I'm sure I remember reading about Clementine in one of the notes. I could be totally wrong, but uh, that's interesting. We were looking for you actually for this ward. For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... Well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. Oh. So Ford is here. <laughs> okay, interesting. Ford was an old dude in the last game. Guess he's an even older dude now. Right, we've got a trait points. So, Vigor, probably, I'd guess. Just to kick things off with a little bit of HP. Feels like quite a low impact, doesn't it? I do, I, part of me kind of likes that. I can't just... Oh, can I? Oh, no, I have to commit. Okay, I see. All right, cool. And we got some stuff in our inventory. We've got a root ganglia. Part flesh, part deadwood, all disgusting. Might not be moving, sure as hell feels like it. Ooh. Ooh, oh, look at this. They've done some unnecessary modeling here. I like it. It's a crafting material. Look at that. That's, uh, <laughs> that's subreddit. Don't put your dick in that. It's, um, it's a thing right there. All right, okay, let's have a little poke around Ward 13. You the doc. Hey, you're the newcomer, ain't you? Nora Camarillo. I keep folks alive around here. You know, you're lucky they found you when they did. Your friend was pretty bad. I got her just in time. How's she doing? She's great. A real spitfire, that one. I'd uh, hang on to her if I were you. We're not like that, Camarillo. I can't do the, the rolling of the R's. Not yet. She's asleep, and I'd like her to stay that way a spell. That girl's tough, all right. But right now, she needs rest. When she's up and about, I'll make sure you know. Ooh. Knock yourself out. Merchants buy and sell items for scrap. Merchants in Ward 13 sell a variety of items, including weapons, armor, consumables, and even stew. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> even stew is quite weird in there. What have we got here? We've got bandages, blood root, mud rub, antidote, ethereal orb, Medic pin. Oh, I love that I can do it. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> Perhaps once the shiny silver now bears the marks of time and wear, it features a symbol commonly associated with healers and medics, serving as a reminder of the wearer's dedication to saving lives. Good chap. All right, let's, uh, let's have a little poke, I suppose. Hey, it's Whispers. Hey, Whispers. Are you Whispers? 
Hey, Whispers. Whispers sold cosmetics in the last game that I never bought. See, you say that, Whispers, but last time you did not sell armor at all, and I didn't get any armor. I, I wore my starter armor for the entire game, basically. Is it going to be the same deal? Oh, no, it looks like he actually sells armor this time. Okay, that's interesting. Is it still leg, glove, helmet? It looks like there's another slot. No, there's still... There's three slots last time, right? And now I think there's four. I'm not seeing... You know what? I'm not seeing any um, set bonuses, interestingly enough. It's a good-looking coat. One of my problems with the last game was that I got a set bonus really early, and it felt a little overpowered, maybe? So... I was kind of hoping this game would actually tone it down a little bit. Hey, gang! So many new faces these days. I was thinking. It must be getting a easier out there. Welcome, traveler. Reggie. I'm Malone, but my friends call me Reggie. You can too. So you come in with Bo and Clementine there. Or you can be sure they'll do everything they can for your friend. Ain't the first to come through here needing help. Ooh, getting right to business. I respect that. <laughs> you got scrap. I got your cup. I don't. I'm just curious what you sell. Old metal tool. Okay. Acid stone. Increase acid damage by 10%. Okay, we've got a few of those. We've got a fire one. We've got a grounding one for shock damage. All damage received by 200%. Damage increased by 10%. Fire rate. Pipe bomb. Interesting. We didn't have any explosives last time. Don't be a stranger. I'm really curious why everyone here is from the last ward. You know, everybody, like, Reggie's here. Like, uh, there's obviously a bunch of new people, because there was... <laughs> it's easy to get turned around here. If you're looking for Ford, he's just up the stairs in the warehouse. What was the last one called? I don't think the last... Oh, what were the wards called? I only finished the first game today, and I've forgotten what the wards were called. I don't think it was Ward 13, but this feels like a... At the end of the day, Ford founded the ward from the last game. And they've clearly founded a new one and extended it and carried on, I suppose. Which means that really obnoxious blacksmith is knocking around here somewhere, hating me already, I'm sure. Wait, what? I'm sorry, what was that? How old are you? This town needs you. You can't go wandering off after something that that might not even exist. Oh, that's rich. What have you been doing? Uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Hey, Ford. Out of my way. He's, he's, I mean, he's in the corner. <laughs> Could not be less in your way if he tried. Hello, can I loot this? No, but it does have a combo on it, so maybe I can at some point. Hey, Ford. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Whoa. What have we here? Ah, the traveler, of course. Wallace. Said, yes, uh, right on time. Hey, Wallace. Sorry had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. Wait, Wall isn't Wallace the kid from the very start? Of the we never saw him again, but he was the kid at the very start of the last game. Bloody Nora. It's just a, it's a who's who of <laughs> returning characters. In the flesh. Thought you were a campfire, sorry. How they say you're hundreds of years old. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. Uh, if you're really the father that built this place, how are you alive? That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk, and some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. Okay, it's interesting because I want you to think back. If you, I, I'm assuming most of you have seen the play through the first game that I did. It was only nine episodes. Stop slacking. Um, <laughs> at one point, there was discussion about immortals and their children and stuff like that. And the the kids were well, they were not kids, but their children inverted commas were promised like eternal life, but were never going to be granted it. But there was a suggestion of a race of immortals. So maybe they found something. It's a great answer, just not a full one. Were you expecting me? Ah, uh, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. 
Our young Wallace told me. How would Wallace know? Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. Because she was a dreamer. She connected through the Guardian. I'm remembering things. It's more like he can see really far into the present. Sometimes. What kind of favor are we talking about? Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources. And then we'll get into it in earnest. Quite a few characters around here. I'll warrant you that. Uh, Riggs is back as well. I forgot. All right, Riggs Travis. is back. Now that you've Riggs. shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. Cool. It's been too long since I shot something, so I'm kind of like, yeah, all right, you know, let's, <laughs> let's get going. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, it's still there. Oh, and this is the woman who hates me. Once again, working on an engine hanging from the ceiling. Some things never change. She's got a little bit more grey in her hair. So, yeah, it must have been... How many years do we think it's been since the last game? Everyone's still alive, but that doesn't really mean much when clearly they're all living for, you know, centuries. Oh, friend. <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? Rex. That's right. But everybody calls me Rex. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back on, do you? Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. So long. McCabe. I swear to God and my mother. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Well, if there isn't a first time for everything. All right, new kid, let me save you some time. I'm McCabe. I like to keep to myself and my work. My work happens to be tinkering and modding weapons. And that's already more information than I like giving out. Understand? <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? It pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons. Okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. You might be listening to that and thinking she seems quite harsh, quite aggressive. That is quite toned down compared to the first game. <laughs> She's much more chill now than she used to be, let me tell you. Hey, it's the, um, it's the root mother whose pack appears to be growing with time. <laughs> Are you the root mother? Oh, no, you're not the root mother. You're one of the Akali or something? Greetings. I'm a Paxel Tech. I am not good with Paxel Tech faces. Paxel Tech means outsider. Oh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Paxel Tech apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Tadwell. Uh, my Paxel Tech name is Dwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make Paxel pick faster, stronger, more powerful. They help it defeat its enemies. And the prices are quite fair. So there's something I noticed in the last game that I'd like to, to point out now so you can observe it through this game. Anything that isn't human, all of the alien species, inverted commas, wear a mask. <laughs> of some description. I think specifically so they don't have to animate, you know, the voice acting on all these different alien species. I noticed it towards the end of the last game, and this is the first one we've encountered. And oh look, he's got a mask on. Of course, Paxel Tech. NPCs throughout the world on World 13 can be used to craft new items, weapon mods, boss weapons, armor. Each crafting recipe has another required materials plus scrap. Okay. A mutator. Melee attacks grant a shield for 2% of max health. Max 20%. 
Oh, you can level it up, apparently. Decreases stamina recovery delay by 75% and stamina regen penalty by 50%. Okay, these are interesting. F fragments? Mutators? These are all new. I don't know what any of these do, really. Some characters can upgrade your items when you see what's found in the world. Okay. Downgrade. Interesting. Farewell. Farewell. You're the nicest person I've met yet. Uh, I think I'm going down this way, aren't I, to find Wally? Oh! You know, oh! Oh, you know where we are? Am I crazy? At the very start of the first game, like literally the tutorial, didn't we run worry, down here? I remember running over the water. It is. This is where we started the last game. Isn't it? I think so. We ran and we ran down there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this down here. Sorry, I'm excited now. <laughs> I, I didn't even care about the story in the first game, but I like seeing all these little things. This down here is uh, where the old ward was, down there. That's where we got attacked outside the entrance, and um, Wally's brother died. Crazy. I'd have forgotten all this if I didn't play the first game. I think I played it in the last three days, and I completed it in the last three days. <laughs> uh, this game, we should probably... We'll probably end up taking more time with this game. You know, dig into the replayability and the randomization and all that, and maybe even some multiplayer. Might be fun. But we'll do a straight-up campaign first, and we'll go from there. Hello, Wallace, with your weird hat. It's a hood. It's not that weird. It's quite stylish, actually. Hey, Wally. I see you, traveler. I see you too, buddy. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. Cass? You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. It's the most annoying attitude that. You know, when it's like when people post on Facebook that, oh, having such a bad day. Oh, people, uh, like, oh, I just hate everything. Grumble, grumble. And it's just like their status. I don't really go on Facebook anymore, but back in the day. And someone will respond going, oh, no, what happened? What's up? And they'll respond to that saying... Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Like, no, you do. You want the attention. Otherwise, you wouldn't have posted it on Facebook. There's no need to make that a post unless you want attention of some description. Stop lying to yourselves. Stop lying to me. <laughs> you have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to. Oh. Ooh, archetypes. Okay. The medic specializes. We're not playing medic. Medic specializes in survivability with enhanced healing and relic effectiveness. That's close to what we played last time. Healing, support, well-rounded. Skills. Wellspring. The medic channels healing into their. Okay, so we do have proper skills. And okay, interesting. So skills. Wellspring. Medic channels healing into their fist, punching a hole in the ground to create a three meters healing spring AOE. So it's kind of what we got last time, isn't it? Healing shield. Expels healing energy to shield all allies within 25 meters for 100% of max health. Okay. And redemption. 30 meter shockwave that revives allies, restores 50% max health. Each additional one second holding the skill button, it gains an additional 50%. We also get regenerator. The medic regenerates additional relic charges by healing themselves and allies. It's funny when they offer you stuff like this at the start of the game. Like, I don't know what relics are. <laughs> like, it doesn't mean anything to me. The hunter. Oh. Okay, I think Hunter's kind of where we ended up last game. That's pretty cool looking. Did he all have gas masks? The problem is, so this game is... <clears throat> you can play it solo, and we're going to play solo, but you do always get the feeling it's a little bit based around co-op. Like, are you going to play as a solo player as the medic? Probably not. You're probably going to pick the medic if you're intending to do some co-op play. Range damage for skills. Hunter's mark. Increases the hunter's spatial awareness, casting an aura that ultimately applies mark to all enemies within 35 meters. Gain 15% damage. Uh, continuously aiming down sights and uninterrupted without shooting, causes the hunter to enter focused. Reduces weapon spread. Blah, 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 blah. Applies mark. Okay. Hunter's shroud. Reducing enemy awareness, making him harder to hit while moving. Okay, it's like a ninja mode. Hunter can extend the duration of the active skills by dealing ranged weak spot damage. Okay. Challenger. Oh, that's our oh, that's our melee sort of build. Okay, I'm kind of tempted. I did say last game that I was going to mix things up for this one. War Stomp, Tremor Outwards, three stacks of Bulwark, 15% movement, blah, blah, blah. Height and state of battle, fire rate by 15, reload speed and movement speed. 
Kills and dealing significant damage gain one stack of range. Increases range damage. Okay, and die hard. Upon taking fatal damage, the challenger pushes of death and returns to battle. <gasps> oh, that has got a dog. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Um, is that all of them? Yeah, oh, no. A <laughs> pet companion. Close range durable, hard to kill. Pet companion team, what utility? The handler specializes in teamwork. I don't want someone who specializes in teamwork, though. <laughs> Skills, God Dog. Companion will follow the handler and generate 15% increased threat while attacking. All damage to them is reduced by 20%. Companion engages enemies, so it's like a taunt. It's like a... <sighs> Support Dog. Companion will follow the handler and continuously heal allies. I, I could heal me as well, that's fine, I think. Companion will follow the handler and deal 20% additional damage. Companion engages enemies near the target location. Double tap for... This is quite complex. These have all got double taps and holds. Companion returns to the handler and hold. Howl increases damage by 20% for all allies. When the handler is down, the companion attempts to revive them. Oh no, there's a dog. <laughs> you know how tempting that is. Oh, but I kind of want to try. Oh, I'm, I'm really not sure between these two. It's not It's not the hunter, it's not the medic. Because we played hunter last time and I don't want to play medic on a solo playthrough. Although I am tempted by the hunter. I think it looks baller. Look at that. Ooh. I think it has to be the dog, doesn't it? Realistically? Yeah, of course it bloody does. Yep. That right. makes a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Goodbye, traveler. Hi. I got a doggy! Hello, buddy! <laughs> I have no regrets. Oh no, I kind of have regrets. Can I rename my dog? My dog's just called Dog at the moment. Okay, we got a new trait. Well, let's have a Oh my god, there's so much going on. Uh, right, so there's our new gear. We'll have to get rid of the cap. I don't hate the cap. And we've also got. Uh, so we've got three points in expertise. So that's like. Okay, we see we got some bonus stuff by. Really existing, I suppose. What's the difference between... Because, look, Vigor has a red. Oh, I think red are the ones that we get by default, and white are the ones that I've put in, right? So we get expertise, so skill cooldowns are a big thing for this build. A little bit of endurance, a little bit of Vigor. Reduces friendly fire damage dealt and received. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Wait, what? why would I be dealing friendly damage? What? I don't... Wait, how's my... No. <laughs> no. Nonsense. Um, handler. Oh, ooh. Uh. Oh, secondary archetype. Okay. Oh, so we don't have all the... Oh, okay. So I was going to say, it seems like a lot to happen super early on. I really don't like this archetype trip. But at the moment, we just have guard dog. So the dog's going to follow us around, generate threat while attacking, and take less damage. Single press to engage enemies, double tap to come back to my side, and howl to reduce damage for 20 seconds and generate more threat. So they're a tank for us. It's wild. This is already quite a lot more... I don't want to say complex, but definitely more complex. I'm going to take this cap off. I can't do it. Last game, there's an option in probably gameplay, right? To turn off that. There we go. There we go. Oh, so much better already. Hello, buddy! Come on! <laughs> I couldn't... I so part of me really wanted to play the Challenger. Really wanted to play the Challenger, but I just couldn't resist. Now, unless there's more archetypes, I guess the logical thing to combine this with would be Hunter, right? But maybe there's more archetypes we can unlock. I think there was at least one that I saw... Oh, no, that was a different game. That's Lords of the Fallen. Hey, Brabus. Do I remember you? No. Well, ain't you a right mutter? Traipsing in here like you own the place. All right. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Says you know what I needed. Right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, 
No charge. Ah, Riggs Ooh. is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. He's a good boy. Can I pet my dog? There's a, there's a thing. Who's a good boy? Amazing. Come on, buddy. All right, we need to name the dog. Um, even if we can't like actively name the dog, we need to name the dog in spirit. I'm gonna name you. What's my first? My first. I'm gonna call you Casper. Okay. No, cause no, I called my dog in. I don't want to call you Paris though. Paris is a silly name. What are my other dogs called? Carlsberg. <laughs> we'll think of a name. You know, you'll earn a name in combat. Right, let's talk to everyone again. Rex. Rebus told me to see you. The next step in my journey. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Just said to come see you. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Okay. So we've now got the Blackmore AR-47, which does much less damage than the one I already had. Got melee weapon. That's cool. I guess this is pew pew pew, pew, pew and this is pew. You know, you know what I mean. I can upgrade it. I guess we probably should, right? Bam. You know where to find me. Ava. Now we've already made friends, so let's be chill. Be worth my time, traveler. Good enough. Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right. So, what the hell is this journey? No idea. I swear, that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time. He and I'd be having words, percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So, either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what, I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. I did. Maybe I could do something with it. Okay, oh, multiple options. All. Oh, this is different as well, this is better. Okay, so we can choose our first weapon mod. <clears throat> we can either launch a payload that explodes on contact, healing allies, nope, rubbish. Well, when no light is struck, it lays dormant until it gets close. So I can heal myself, though. Which is interesting. And I can heal my dog. Hmm. Concussive shot fires focus blast of air through all targets within 8 meters, dealing 185 damage. No. 4 times impact. Maybe that's. No. Fires a caltrops grenade that explodes to cover an area 6 meters. Caltrops deal and slow. No. Hot shot infused ammunition with fire. Increases range damage by 15% for 20 seconds. Shot supply of burning. It's going to be burning or the heal. The heal sounds weirdly tempting for once because. I can buy more of them anyway. Because I can heal the dog. But also, I'm assuming. I mean, I can heal myself. And last time we played this game, the heal came in handy over and over and over again. I don't really, like, both of these seem, like, really good for for spacing, if I'm trying to keep distance from an enemy, but the dog's going to be up there tanking, so I don't really need them. I'm going to... Mm, screw it. I wanted hotshot last time, and I didn't take it, so let's do hotshot this time. Who needs a heal? <laughs> I already regret not taking the heal. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time. Yeah. So we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? All right, we're done. Can't say this has been fun. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's have a little look. We just got some stuff. So we've got a new gun. Oh, we've already got a quote. The black maw. We've got the rusted claws. Oh, see a mutator. So we got a weapon power and a mutator. Critical hit chance, stagger modifier, weak spot damage. So I've got my two guns here. And we've got our gear on. Let's have a look at the difference between these. Less armor, slightly heavier. I mean I think we could wear we could probably swap back, it wouldn't really matter. Does the other stuff look cooler? Yeah, kinda. And there's no set bonus, is there? No. It does look cooler and like, if we're honest, is that not the most important thing? Yeah, it is. Uh, right, what are we doing now? I actually have no idea. Map, tell me. 
Meet up with Ford. Ah, right, by the entrance to the old ward. And we know where that is. It's down here. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He looks like dog meat a little bit. It's the same kind of dog. It's like a German Shepherd, right? Well, he's a bit bulkier, isn't he? He's quite a thick dog. Hmm. It does look like dog meat. Can't call him dog meat. Hey, Ford. You look ready to face anything. What do you say? Ready to see what's down there with me? Sure. Right. Let's see what dangers still lurk in the old ward. So maybe it was called War 13. They just kind of moved it above ground. But I saved the world. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> Here we go. I did build my own character, by the way. It just wasn't part of the video. Uh, where's my dog? Still smells like home. Here, take this. Just crank the handle to make it work. Oh, that's what I say to all the girls. They're terrible, they're terrible. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets hadn't found their own? <laughs> no. We had to know everything there was to know about them. <laughs> it was a matter of national security. Of pride. So yeah, we opened the door and walked through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, we all know what happened after that. Locked, huh? Well, this is my house. Come on. I actually did not realize Ellen that's how the to... route find out. In case of Got a little puck upstairs. No, there's a room down here on the right. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's where I was meant to go anyway. Whatever. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? God, this takes me back to earlier today. Got a flashlight, that's new. Oh, hello. There's the, the atoll with the dragon that I never heard about. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a dragon heart. And a matchbook. That red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. So the dragon heart is basically an Estus flask. It is a regenerating healing item. So every time you rest at a campfire, i.e. a big red stone thing, you get all your dragon hearts back. There like I say, are. it's kind of like a souls like. Locked, mate. The matchbook? Hey, take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Oh, look at this. This is fancy. Ah. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. Is that the... The world stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what exactly? Did the end 
Andrew Ford, who first touched this crystal. Did he ever come back? Go back. Tell Bo to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford. Ford? Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. did it. He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! <laughs> Don't let go! things to say. I've got like one thing to say. But I'm excited to say it. Oh. The red throat. Look at this. So are we still on Earth? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I suspect not, actually. Okay, well. Oh my god. They've really... You can tell this game had a much bigger budget, can't you, than the first game. Jesus Christ. Very cool. Very, it's really, I mean, it's only been a few years. It's really stepped up in quality. Um, okay, yeah, I'm really excited to play the game. Very curious about this handler and how this is going to play. I'm a little apprehensive about it. Like, what about enemies that we can't get to? <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Uh, it looks like it's going to be different at the very least. And, you know, the other three classes will kind of, you know, it's ranged, it's melee, it's a medic. This one's at least a little bit different. I felt that's enough reason to try it out. And at the end of the day, I have a dog, so I'm happy. Um, yeah, uh, so this game has done a much better job, I would say, establishing the story and what's going on here. You know, we've got an immediate goal, rescue Clementine and Ford. And I'm quite excited. Yeah, cool. Right, thank you so much for joining me. Stick around for more Remnant 2. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.